Hello, welcome to Meditating the Word. I'm so glad you've joined us on our journey through the Bible in a year. If you'd like a roadmap of where we've been and where we're going, you can download a copy of the reading plan from blueletterbible.com. You'll find a link in the notes. The translation I'm reading from is the World English Bible, but feel free to follow along in your favorite translation. If you haven't subscribed to this podcast yet, why not do that now? Just click on subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. This is day 119. Today we are reading from the first book of Chronicles. The first book of Chronicles, chapters 7 through 10. Of the sons of Issachar, Tola, Pua, Jashub, and Shimron, four. The sons of Tola, Uzi, Raphaiah, Jeriel, Jemai, Ibsam, and Shemuel, heads of their fathers' houses of Tola, mighty men of valor in their generations. Their number in the days of David was 22,600. The son of Uzi, Azrahiah. The sons of Azrahiah, Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Ishiah, five, all of them chief men. With them by their generations, after their fathers' houses, were bands of the army for war, thirty-six thousand, for they had many wives and sons. Their brothers, among all the families of Issachar, mighty men of valor, listed in all by genealogy, were eighty-seven thousand. The sons of Benjamin, Bela, Beker, and Jediah El, three. The sons of Bela, Esban, Azi, Aziel, Jeremoth, and Eri, five. Heads of fathers' houses, mighty men of valor and they were listed by genealogy, 22,034. The sons of Beker, Zemira, Joash, Eliezer, Elionai, Omri, Jeremoth, Abijah, Anathoth, and Alameth. All these were the sons of Beker. These were listed by genealogy, after their generations, heads of their fathers' houses, mighty men of valor. 20,200. The son of Jediah El, Bilhan. The sons of Bilhan, Jeush, Benjamin, Ehud, Kenaana, Zephan, Tarshish, and Ahishahar. All these were sons of Jediah El, according to the heads of their father's households, mighty men of valor, 17,200 who were able to go out in the army for war. So were Shupim, Hupim, the sons of Ir, Hushim, and the sons of Aher. The sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, Guni, Jezer, Shalum, and the sons of Bilha. The sons of Manasseh, Asriel, whom his concubine, the Aramitess, bore. She bore Makir, the father of Gilead. Makir took a wife of Hupim and Shupim, whose sister's name was Ma'aka. The name of the second was Zelophehad, and Zelophehad had daughters. Ma'aka, the wife of Makir, bore a son, and she named him Peresh. The name of his brother was Sheresh, and his sons were Ulam and Rakim. The sons of Ulam, Bedan, these were the sons of Gilead the son of Makir, the son of Manasseh. His sister, Hamalaketh, bore Ishhad, Abiezer, and Mala. The sons of Shemida were Ahayan, Shechem, Liki, and Aniam. The sons of Ephraim, Shuthela, Bered his son, Tahaf his son, Eliada his son, Tahaf his son, Zabad his son, Shuthalah his son, Ezer and Eliad, whom the men of Gath, who were born in the land, killed, because they came down to take away their livestock. Ephraim their father mourned many days, and his brothers came to comfort him. He went in to his wife, and she conceived and bore a son, and he named him Beriah, 
because there was trouble with his house. His daughter was Sheira, who built Beth Haran, the lower and the upper, and Uzan Sheira. Repha was his son, Reshef his son, Tela his son, Tahan his son, Ladan his son, Amihud his son, Elishama his son, Nun his son, and Joshua his son. Their possessions and settlements were Bethel and its towns, and eastward Naaran, and westward Gezer with its towns, Shechem also and its towns, to Aza and its towns, and by the borders of the children of Manasseh, Beth Sheon and its towns, Ta'anak and its towns, Megiddo and its towns, and Dor and its towns. The children of Joseph, the son of Israel, lived in these. The sons of Asher, Imna, Ishva, Ishvi, and Beriah. Serah was their sister. The sons of Beriah, Heber and Malkiel, who was the father of Birzaith. Heber became the father of Japhlet, Shomer, Hotham, and Shua, their sister. The sons of Japhlet, Pasak, Bimhal, and Ashvath. These are the children of Japhlet. The sons of Shamer, Ahi, Roga, Jehuba, and Aram. The sons of Helam, his brother, Zopha, Imna, Shelesh, and Amal. The sons of Zopha, Sua, Harnefer, Shual, Beri, Imra, Bezer, Had, Shama. Shilsha, Ethran, and Be'era, the sons of Jather, Jephunah, Pispa, and Ara, the sons of Ula, Ara, Haniel, and Rizia. All these were the children of Asher, heads of the fathers' houses, choice and mighty men of valor, chief of the princes. The number of them listed by genealogy for their service in war was twenty six thousand men. Benjamin became the father of Bela, his firstborn, Ashbel the second, Ahara the third, Noha the fourth, and Rapha the fifth. Bela had sons, Adar, Gera, Abihud, Abishua, Naaman, Ahoa, Gera, Shephufan, and Huram. These are the sons of Ehud. These are the heads of fathers' households of the inhabitants of Geba who were carried captive to Manahath. Naaman, Ahijah, and Gera, who carried them captive, and he became the father of Uzzah and Ahihud. Shaharaim became the father of children in the field of Moab after he had sent them away. Hushim and Baara were his wives, by Hodesh his wife. He became the father of Jobab, Zibia, Mesha, Malcam, Jeuz, Shakia, and Mirma. These were his sons, heads of fathers' households. By Hushim, he became the father of Abitub and El Paal. The sons of El Paal, Eber, Misham, and Shemed, who built Ono and Lod with its towns, and Beriah and Shema who were heads of fathers' households of the inhabitants of Aijalon, who put to flight the inhabitants of Gath, and Ahio, Shashak, Jeremoth, Zebediah, Arad, Adair, Michael, Ishpa, Joha, the sons of Bariah, Zebediah, Meshulam, Hiski, Heber, Ishmerai, Isliah, Jobab, the sons of Elpaal. Jakim, Zikri, Zabdi, Elianai, Zelephi, Eliel, Adaiah, Beraiah, Shimrath, the sons of Shimei, Ishpan, Eber, Eliel, Abdon, Zikri, Hanan, Hananiah, Elam, Anthophijah, Iftaiah, Penuel, the sons of Shashak, Shemsherai, Shehariah, Athaliah, Jaarishiah, Elijah, Zikri, 
and the sons of Jeroham. These were heads of fathers' households throughout their generations, chief men. These lived in Jerusalem. The father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Maaka, lived in Gibeon with his firstborn son, Abdon, Zur, Kish, Baal, Nadab, Gedor, Ahio, Zekar, and Mikloth, who became the father of Shimea. They also lived with their families in Jerusalem near their relatives. Ner became the father of Kish. Kish became the father of Saul. Saul became the father of Jonathan, Malkishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. The son of Jonathan was Merib Baal. Merib Baal became the father of Micah. The sons of Micah, Pithon, Melech, Tereah, and Ahaz. Ahaz became the father of Jehoada. Jehoada became the father of Elameth, Azmaveth, and Zimri. Zimri became the father of Moza. Moza became the father of Binea. Rapha was his son, Eleasah his son, and Azel his son. Azel had six sons, whose names are these, Azrikam, Bokeru, Ishmael, Shearaiah, Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel. The sons of Eshet, his brother, Ulam, his firstborn, Jeush, the second, Eliphelet, the third. The sons of Ulam were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons and grandsons, 150. All these were of the sons of Benjamin. So all Israel were listed by genealogies, and behold, they are written in the book of the kings of Israel. Judah was carried away captive to Babylon for their disobedience. Now the first inhabitants who lived in their possessions in their cities were Israel, the priests, the Levites, and the temple servants. In Jerusalem there lived the children of Judah, of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim and Manasseh. Uthai, the son of Amihud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, of the children of Perez, the son of Judah. Of the Shilonites, Asaiah became the firstborn, and his sons. Of the sons of Zerah, Jeuel and their brothers, 690. Of the sons of Benjamin, Salu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Hasanua, and Ibnaiah, the son of Jeroham, and Elah, the son of Uzi, the son of Mikri, and Meshulam, the son of Shephatiah, the son of Reuel, the son of Ibnijah, and their brothers, according to their generations, 956. All these men were heads of fathers' households by their fathers' houses. Of the priests, Jediah, Jehoiarib, Jakin, and Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Merioth, the son of Ahitub, the ruler of God's house, and Adaiah, the son of Jeroham, the son of Pashur, the son of Malkijah, and Maasai, the son of Adiel, the son of Jazarah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Meshilameth, the son of Emer, and their brothers, heads of their fathers' houses, 1,760. They were very able men for the work of the service of God's house. Of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashub, the son of Azrikam, the son of Hashabiah, and the sons of Merari, and Bakbakar, Haresh, Galal, and Mataniah, the sons of Micah, the sons of Zikri, the sons of Asaph, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun, and Berechiah, the son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, who lived in the villages of the Netophathites. The gatekeepers, Shalom, Akub, Talman, Ahiman, 
and their brothers. Shalom was the chief, who previously served in the king's gate eastward. They were the gatekeepers for the camp of the children of Levi. Shalom was the son of Korah, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, and his brothers, of his father's house, the Korahites, were over the work of the service, keepers of the thresholds of the tent. Their fathers had been over the Lord's camp, keepers of the entry. Phineas, the son of Eleazar, was ruler over them in time past, and the Lord was with him. Zechariah, the son of Meshelamiah, was gatekeeper of the door of the tent of meeting. All these who were chosen to be gatekeepers in the thresholds were 212. These were listed by genealogy in their villages, whom David and Samuel the seer ordained in their office of trust. So they and their children had the oversight of the gates of the Lord's house, even the house of the tent as guards. On the four sides were the gatekeepers, toward the east, west, north, and south. Their brothers in their villages were to come in every seven days from time to time to be with them, for the four chief gatekeepers, who were Levites, were in an office of trust and were over the rooms and over the treasuries in God's house. They stayed around God's house because that was their duty and it was their duty to open it morning by morning. Certain of them were in charge of the vessels of service, for these were brought in by count, and these were taken out by count. Some of them also were appointed over the furniture and over all the vessels of the sanctuary, over the fine flour, the wine, the oil, the frankincense, and the spices. Some of the sons of the priests prepared the mixing of the spices, Metithiah, one of the Levites, who was the firstborn of Shalom the Korahite, had the office of trust over the things that were baked in pans. Some of their brothers, of the sons of the Kohathites, were over the showbread to prepare it every Sabbath. These are the singers, heads of the fathers' households of the Levites, who lived in the rooms and were free from other service, for they were employed in their work day and night. These were the heads of their fathers' households of the Levites throughout their generations, chief men. They lived at Jerusalem. Jael, the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Maacah, lived in Gibeon. His firstborn son was Abdon, then Zur, Kish, Baal, Ner, Nadab, Gedor, Ahio, Zechariah, and Mikloth. Mikloth became the father of Shimeam. They also lived with their relatives in Jerusalem, near their relatives. Ner became the father of Kish. Kish became the father of Saul. Saul became the father of Jonathan, Malkishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal. The son of Jonathan was Merib Baal. Merib Baal became the father of Micah. The sons of Micah. Pithon, Melek, Tereah, and Ahaz. Ahaz became the father of Jara. Jara became the father of Elimeth, Asmaveth, and Zimri. Zimri became the father of Mosa. Mosa became the father of Binea, Raphaiah his son, Eliasa his son, and Azel his son. Azel had six sons, whose names are Azrikam, Bokeru, Ishmael, Shearaiah, Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines and fell down slain on Mount Gilboa. The Philistines followed hard after Saul and after his sons, and the Philistines killed Jonathan, Abinadab, and Malkishua the sons of Saul. The battle went hard against Saul, and the archers overtook him, and he was distressed by reason of the archers. Then Saul said to his armor-bearer, Draw your sword and thrust me through with it, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armor-bearer would not, 
for he was terrified. Therefore Saul took his sword and fell on it. When his armor-bearer saw that Saul was dead, he likewise fell on his sword and died. So Saul died with his three sons, and all his house died together. When all the men of Israel who were in the valley saw that they fled, and that Saul and his sons were dead, they abandoned their cities and fled, and the Philistines came and lived in them. On the next day, when the Philistines came to strip the slain, they found Saul and his sons fallen on Mount Gilboa. They stripped him and took his head and his armor, then sent into the land of the Philistines all around to carry the news to their idols and to the people. They put his armor in the house of their gods and fastened his head in the house of Dagon. When all Jabesh Gilead heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, all the valiant men arose and took away the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons and brought them to Jabesh and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh and fasted seven days. So Saul died for his trespass, which he committed against the Lord, because of the Lord's word which he didn't keep, and also because he asked counsel of one who had a familiar spirit to inquire and didn't inquire of the Lord. Therefore he killed him and turned the kingdom over to David, the son of Jesse. Father God, such a lesson on where we get our information. Saul looked to other sources, his own counsel, and the counsel of a medium, instead of relying only on you. We see people, even Christians, do the same today, relying on their own wisdom or on the daily horoscope or consulting psychics when we have the very best source of information available to us your written word and Holy Spirit within, who will teach us all things and even show us things to come. Help us to not be seduced and led astray by deception, Father, but to rely only on you. Amen. You can find Meditating the Word on your favorite podcast platform, on YouTube, and on Facebook. If you're listening to this on one of the mini podcast platforms, you'll find links in the notes to all of our other locations. It's my goal to encourage others to strengthen their Christian walk through daily reading God's Word. You can help by sharing this podcast and by rating and reviewing it. Thank you for joining me, and know that I'm praying for you as we journey through the Bible together, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.